Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazad of Chess Channel and welcome to an incredible game of the official computer chess rating list website, the popular CCRL. We have here the Stockfish engine against another top engine, Koi Visto, in a remarkable Queen's Gambit accepted chess game. So I've already recorded this game yesterday, published it already on my YouTube chess channel, but then I've been told by one of my viewers that the screen froze a couple of times. I'm sorry about that, about these technical issues. I've uh, deleted this uh, video immediately, then recorded again because in my opinion this game has to be seen i'm really sorry about the issues yesterday but pay good attention in my opinion this is a game that you have to see that you have to show your friends uh, here the stoppers and the new stoppers version pull off an immortal attack um, it's really incredible how stockfish creates the spaces the tiny little gaps in the position just in order to improve the position somehow activate the pieces and then storm with every possible uh, with every possible artillery that's possible and then create of course beautiful but also brutal and sharp tactics all over the board so let's see now the game as i said sorry again uh, for uh, yesterday's issue but as i said this game i had to record again because it's so so beautiful so the fish opened with the move d4 uh here d5 played by Quivisto c4 queen's gambit accepted knight to f3 preventing of course uh the move e5 which is many times a good method for, for black if you play e3 then you probably meet this move e5 d takes e5 then leads maybe into complications after uh, trades of trades of queens so that's why knight to f3 prevents this idea but now uh black continues with the move c6 which is now the normal variation tries of course to connect the pawns here on on the queen side so e4 grabbing some space and now uh when black is protecting the pawn on c4 in this way then you want to break the pawn chain you can do it with the move b3 you can do it also with the move a4 so if you play a4 uh, then of course if black plays something like this a takes uh, b5 or maybe b3 immediately leads you to complications for black because if he trades the pawns like this then of course there is this common tactic and also it's it's also common trap uh in the queen's game accepted with the move bishop to b5 you cannot take because of the tensions on the a file so here for move b5 stockfish didn't play the move a4 immediately played b3 which is an interesting choice and the crazy thing is there is only one game in the database in this particular line so a4 is the most common, the most often played line now for white. But let's see what happens. B3, C takes B3. Stockfish makes now progress uh, with the move A4. Coivisto passes through, doesn't want to go into this common tactical problems that we have seen now around the square B5. But now Stockfish continues the pressure against this uh, weak pawn on B3. So E6, we have bishop to D3, bishop to E7, casting knight to F6 here by Coivisto, and now knight takes B3 uh, here by the fish. So Stockfish which has i think a good development of the minor pieces look at this knight already good on b3 controlling this isolated and backward pawn on c6 controls also the weak square on c5 the knight on f3 is good and now we are waiting maybe for the move e5 this bishop is very active and also uh here the bishop on c1 although didn't play so far but i think it's a decent compensation for the lost pawn so stockfish is one pawn down but i think the activity uh, that we gain now is a good compensation and a white has now good attacking chances casting we have queen to e2 uh, a5 rook to d1 and now knight from b to d7 by Coivisto also uh, making further uh, progress normal development and now trying to break and enter maybe with the move c5 getting rid of this a bad pawn on c6 so stockfish continues with bishop to g5 and now after move h6 stockfish retreats and this move bishop to g5 i like to call a provocative move because we we have waited this move h6 to come then we retreat but we have provoked new weaknesses in black's camp so with the move h6 the pawn structure is not so healthy anymore there's now the h7 weakness g6 weakness g7 h6 also weak so uh the pawn structure is not so solid anymore so good good maneuvers here by the fish so knight to h7 e5 getting some spaces rook to e8 and now queen to e4 uh is threatening of course the immediate checkmate so that's why here first knight to f8 i'll uh, play by coivisto getting the knight in a good defensive way here uh controlling the g6 weakness but also the h7 weakness so far good play also by coivisto we have to say it. so queen to g4 stockfish sneaks in so stockfish is searching for every possible gap in the position stockfish is searching for new activities of the pieces king to h8 we have queen to h5 threatening of course some tactics bishop to h6 g takes h6 queen to h6 you cannot cover this bishop is also targeting the h7 square so that's why coivisto hopes to get to perpetual by repeating the moves but now stockfish changes the direction plays now the move rook to c1 and this is a common principle get 
adding this last piece into the attack, the last piece that hasn't played so far. So, so far, you see Stoffish played with every minor piece, with every rook. The queen is uh, activated, the king is secure. So, it's perfect strategic play and uh, continuing, of course, also the pressure against this weak pawn on c6. Knight to b6 by Koi Visto. We have a rook to e1. Good, good move here by the fish. Rook to e4 and then rook to g4 is the threat. Getting the rook more and more active. The rook lift is, I think, a thematic move by Stockfish Engine. We have seen many times amazing rook lifts by the fish. And when the rook is coming into the game, you know probably that something special is going to happen for sure. So here the Co um, Coivisto engine tried to get rid of this good bishop on d3 by trading it off bishop to a6 really good defensive move so far you cannot take out the pawn on uh, a4 this wouldn't be possible if you ask yourself maybe this question if you play knight takes a a4 then it's basically game over you're getting tactically destroyed with bishop to h6 this tactic should not be underestimated because the knight has to be here closer to the defense and control also the f6 score will come to that point why uh, the knight is very very important to stay more on 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 the king side because after bishop to h6 j takes h6 uh, the rook is coming into the game rook to g4 is now a threat in order to defend the position you have to play now f5 but now we take Ampassan, the bishop comes into the game and now with rook to g4 i would not really love to play anymore this game from uh black's perspective you can maybe cover but look at this we take out this one you have to even include in a weird way the rook into defense but now we can include also this rook into the game so every piece of white is playing in beautiful harmony even if you attack maybe uh, here the rook with move e5 then the bishop comes on c4 so really really a devastating position already already uh, here for black so that's why bishop to a6 i think good choice by uh, by the coivisto engine trying to get rid of this uh, really brutal bishop on d3 so stockfish retreats keeps of course the best piece on the board knight to d5 good defensive move and now queen to h3 so see how important it is to have this knight on d5 for instance if you rush here with the attack many of us i think would be greedy and would be um impatient and patient here and would try to of course to play bishop to h6 then g takes h6 uh, rook to e4 is not leading into the same position because now after ampassan the knight can come into the game the queen is hanging and now it's a different story this is now game over so see how important it was to keep uh the knight more defensively in, in the game so here knight to d5 so stockfish plays queen to h3 we have uh bishop to c4 attacking now the knight the knight is controlled of course this c5 weakness that black has here black would love of course as we said to play c5 and liberate himself here uh from the spaces that white is trying to get we have now the move rook to e4 and that's the move that i've been waiting for the rook lift as i said when you see stockfish playing the rook lift something special is going to happen for sure so knight to g6 rook to g4 stockfish is using now every possible good active square for his pieces we have now bishop takes b3 because if you play for instance something like knight to f4 attacking the queen then of course you get this one you have to play something like knight to g6 then rook take g6 look at this f take g6 queen to g6 but now there is this battery and you're getting tactically destroyed here for sure so after move rook to g4 uh, Coivisto played bishop takes b3 and after c takes b3 uh, bishop takes b3 the bishop gets now deflected from the attack of the knight on g6 Coivisto uses now this moment in order to regroup to get the bishop more defensively here uh, uh, against this pawn on h6 so stock uh, here Coivisto is trying to defend this pawn on h6 we have queen to g3 continuing the pressure on the g file knight from d to e7 Stockfish plays now the move h5 is hoping uh pardon me is playing the move h4 is hoping to get the pawn move h5 and then of course opening up the g file so knight to f5 by Coivisto attacking the queen the queen drops back to h3 so far the d4 pawn is not uh, weak the d4 pawn is so far protected by the knight and the rook and it's i think the only issue that white is here in the position it's really uh, the main weakness this backward pawn uh, then of course is if the pawn on d4 falls apart then of course also the e5 is weak so um Coivisto is hoping now to somehow get uh, get its game by attacking the pawn on d4 so we have queen to d7 we have rook to e4 with the preparation to play the move g4 Coivisto prevents this idea by playing the move h5 but stockfish breaks and enters anyway with the move g4 we have h takes g rook takes g4 knight from g to e7 keeping the position 
position compact uh, here on the king side, but now Stockfish makes simple progress here uh, with the move h5. We have now the move c5, which is of course a normal choice. As we said, we're trying to somehow undermine uh, the protection of the pawn on e5. We have now the move h6. Stockfish uh, is not waiting any moment here. Stockfish simply continues to push the position. We have a g6 and now a bishop to g5. Look at this. Maybe Coivisto solved uh some problems on the g file but when you push the pawn to g6 uh, now we have new weaknesses which are of course this obvious dark world weaknesses so we have now rook from a to c8 by uh, coivisto bishop to uh, f, uh bishop to f6 for instance if you play something like i don't know and something like this then you get immediately here uh, this checkmate with h7 so this tactic is not working so you don't have time to pick up the pawn on d4 that's the issue we should not forget about this because it's now really really the main threat the move h7 so that's why knight takes h6 by coivisto stockfish plays now beautiful king to g2 of course you cannot take it again uh here the rook because you get checkmated on h8 this will be again also a beautiful checkmate here so after move king to g2 the coivisto engine tried c4 but now another standard here by uh stockfish simply playing a uh, rook to h1 and look at this for instance if what happens if you play c takes b3 look how brutal and epic this particular position is maybe for fun you can pause the video and try to see now uh the fourth checkmate sequence here it's game over uh here for uh, for black so as i said try to see now the winning tactic it's maybe not so easy to see but it's really beautiful beautiful uh pattern sort of that has to be recognized in these types of positions in these types of structures okay here we have even the possibility of an amazing brutal immortal queen sacrifice queen to h6 we take take with threatening checkmate in order to stay in the game black has to play king to f8 in order to cover himself with the move knight to g8 but still we're playing this way we sacrifice now the rook and now uh here this rook is this other rook is coming into the game there's no defense against rook to h8 so uh here white would sacrifice every piece on the h file and then still the h file th a checkmate threat is working you can maybe just prolong the game but look at this epic beautiful checkmate here for sure so after move rook to h1 so that's why coivisto tried again maybe even some to create some breeding spaces for the king maybe also to get some kind of an escape route but stockfish continues now uh, the pressure activates also the piece knight to f6 we have uh, e takes f6 so coivisto got rid of this annoying bishop on f6 good move so far but this is not working after queen to d8 coivisto is of course trying now uh, somehow good to get the pawn on f6 which is controlling of course the king here uh, this is now really really an unpleasant pawn to handle but stockfish continues to pressure rook to f4 protects now everything we have now the move rook to c7 by coivisto knight to e5 new pressure against the square g6 and also maybe around the square f7 we have now the move b3 stockfish here retreats but keeps the bishop active here on e4 we have b2 and now knight to h4 a uh, knight to g4 pardon me attacking the pawn uh, bishop uh, sorry the knight on h6 and threaten still this checkmate here on h7 so we have now the promotion of the queen on b1 stockfish plays first knight takes h6 we have bishop to h6 uh, queen takes h6 so so far nothing can be done you can maybe just prolong the game with with this idea but then after king to h1 uh here there is also the checkmate threat on g7 so that's why in order to stay in the game coivisto played the last possible move played now queen to e4 attacking now the king and hopes here of course an engine cannot hope but uh here if you for instance play a rook to e4 then again it's not uh winning anymore here for white because finally black would actually take out this annoying pawn on f6 and now you can maybe deliver one check but the queen is controlling the hx score so it's uh i think even a winning position now suddenly for for black so so see after move queen to e4 rook takes e4 is not working but of course stockfish has everything under control plays now the move f3 you can deliver just only one good check but now after king to g3 no good checks are possible anymore the game is lost here coivisto just try to prolong the game by sacrificing more pieces but after a couple more moves the game was over again we have this thematic checkmate on the h file so great great brutal sharp epic game here by the fish really really incredible so 
in my opinion really really it shows the power of um, activity of white how to activate the pieces further how to find simply new best scores keeping the tension keeping simply also the space advantage in the beginning deflecting the defenders from black skin activating uh, all of the pieces on the age file so incredible incredible uh, game by the stockfish 16 engine so uh please as i said the new stockfish 16 is out please check it out uh, you can download it immediately for free uh the link of the download will be the first thing that you see in the description below please check it out have fun analyze your games uh, you can really as i said also in my previous video have simply the best project for free so have fun with this incredible incredible stockfish engine so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot interesting interesting ideas here tactical ideas for sure if you want to see more brutal chess tactic games like this um check out our common chess games played by computer series with some more stockfish alpha zero lila zero chess games and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what to say chess is the best of course